Now that you've had a chance to read through some of the basics that we've written out about content, tone, and style, I just want to briefly walk you through those storyboarding and the concept of cognitive overload theory. So content, tone, and style is really an opportunity for you to think through the type of video that you're wanting to make. When you think about the content, this is an opportunity for you to identify what you want to have inside the video. Is it about reviewing a concept? Is it more of a video about encouragement? Is it direct instruction? Are you explaining something? That's what I mean by content, specifically what is in the video and the purpose of the video. Before you hit record, you need to think about what the content of the video is so that you can prep everything that you need to put in the video and reduce your own anxiety as you hit record. An opportunity here when you're thinking through the content is to storyboard out what the video is. So if the video is about direct instruction and you're trying to explain what the water cycle is, I would go ahead and write down water cycle direct instruction. Direct, and I'm going to put it here, and I'm going to go ahead and put the word water cycle. So I know it's about direct instruction and it's about the water cycle. Then you can start to think about the tone of the video. Is this casual? Is it informative? Are you meant to be fun and friendly? Or should it be more professional in, in tone? Are you trying to just get through something really, really quickly? You need to think about the tone so that way when you're setting up and you're making the video happen, you can think a little bit about that. Of course, your behavior in the video, whether you're smiling or not, will set the tone for how the students or the learner should engage with the content. So think about that. You know, if you have an enthusiastic tone and you're well put together and the video is on point, um, it'll reduce the cognitive overload. Speaking of cognitive overload, Sweller, a uh, cognitive theory scientist, wrote in 1988 about this concept. And basically, cognitive overload theory suggests that certainly in visual materials, you need to think about what is um, what can be removed. When someone is engaging with learning content, certainly in a video, there's so much happening. There's the visual representation, there's a narration, and then there's other things that might be in the video along with music or video clips. So when you think about putting together a digital story, you want to think about what is the smallest learning unit element that can take place in a particular video. This goes back to the content. If it's purely about the water cycle, don't get sidetracked telling them about something else in the video that makes it hard to follow. That's a perfect topic for the second video. So if this is a you know direct instruction video purely about the water cycle, then you want to stay on point. You want your visuals to represent that story as well. So you wouldn't have you know, if you're talking about the water cycle, you probably would not have a picture of your trip to Tahiti in there, for example. Um, you would probably stick to the straight content that you're wanting to deliver so that we students don't get lost in the learning material, in that learning asset, and wonder what the key takeaway points were. You can think about your learning outcomes in advance and think about the key things that you want the learner to engage with and learn in that particular video. So when you think about the style of the video, which is down here at the last point, you want to think about where you're recording the video, your appearance, the lighting, and all of that will make the video easier or harder to follow. If it's not about you being on camera as I am now, and it's more about just a curated PowerPoint that you're going to show um, some images and talk through, you need to think about that as well. So when you think about the style, that will really relate the sort of information that you're putting together.